This is the daily video update for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I woke up this morning from an email from Milt Powell, my grandfather. He was writing thanking me for including my grandmother in Sunday's All Souls service and reflecting on the theme of love over the last several weeks. So first, um, Hi, Grandpa. If you're watching, we cannot wait to see you at Thanksgiving. But more broadly, for all of us um, participating in this community, there's an interesting observation here. I had no idea that my grandfather was watching on Sunday or the last two weeks. We've changed how we do worship quite a bit over the last few years, but I don't think we've actually really talked about this particular change. We actually don't know who we are reaching. And that means that sometimes we're making a positive difference in people's lives without knowing it. YouTube doesn't tell us at the church who watches our services. I can tell you that 30 people were watching live on Sunday morning on our YouTube channel and that 35 have watched it in the last two days since it was published on the YouTube channel. Indeed, I can tell you that there's one person out there who watched most of Sunday's worship service after YouTube recommended it to them as a follow-up to an episode of Julia Child's The French Chef, specifically the episode on small roast birds. So YouTube will tell us that, but it doesn't tell us who those people are, what their names are. I talked with someone just today uh, on the phone who's been looking for a church to attend, but whose research consists of watching YouTube streams of different churches, not engaging with the institution directly until she is ready. So the point is this. We've changed how accessible our worship services are, and I don't think we, and by we, I mean I. I don't think I have fully grasped all of the implications yet. What does it mean for us that we do not necessarily know who's in the room on Sunday morning? How will that change what we do, how we think about transformation and community? Should it change those things? Questions to ponder as we move forward in this liminal time into whatever comes next. As a brief programming note, um, I'll be out of the office for a few days this week, um, so there may not be an update posted on Friday. There probably won't be. I'll be celebrating uh, my mother-in-law's birthday. This weekend, you're in good hands with Charlie Ahern, who's kicking off November with a sermon engaging our theme of change. I'll be back with a video update on next Tuesday, November 8th. Uh, spoiler alert, it's going to be an update telling you to go vote if you have not already. So if you want to feel less guilty, um, I encourage you to send in your mail-in ballots now if you have them, or make a plan to vote next Tuesday. See you then.